you're going to win. I'm very ready for this. I can do more. You're going for it, you're going to get this. Eric is not really a rival. I'm ready to compete with you. This week, the teams face off, and again, there's a battle in the wild. Take it from down and take it out up. Is Team Emu going to continue with its impressive run? Like we always do. Really? I told you we're the special team. <laughs> or are the other teams going to stop them dead on their tracks? Emu, it's not going to be that easy. It's not going to be that easy. Yeah? yeah? Mm. Watch out for us. For on that one, I have no comment. Yeah, let's just wait for the, for the other hand. And what are the training regimes of the various teams? Who is sweating the most? Uh, uh. All will be revealed on tonight's episode of Ultimate Challenge. Salim! Asana me kwa mau kuchini kam. AM. And Team Ibra is up early and ready for their workout session. The team starts with a two-kilometer run inside the Karura Forest. The forest has an area of 1,063 hectares, making it the largest of the three main gazetted forests in Nairobi. The others are Ngong and Ololua forests. Hi, all right, so we are at Karura, Sigiria Forest, and uh, we have our jungle gym behind me. We have the team running right now, they are doing a two kilometer run, and the dam Red Hill over there, which is the toughest hill around. So uh, I'm going with exercises, I'm going to get the whole body moving, ideally because that's the way to go. I want to burn more calories by en engaging all these muscles, working at the same time, I will be able to burn more calories from them and give them maximum. After the two kilometer run, they go up and down a hill as an intensive cardio and legs workout. From there, we're going to leave and go to the jungle gym after that. And uh, we'll be doing high intensity rounds. 30 second intervals, 10 seconds of rest. Uh, this is because we want to increase the metabolism and the metabolic work aspect. Okay. See, like this, hold it, hold the tire. Back straight, back straight. Yes. And yeah? Stop that exercise. Stop that exercise. Leave it. Stop it. All right, move on to the next exercise. All right? Is your back okay? Not so much, yeah? So we are not going to do it. If you're not going to do it with proper mechanics, let's leave it. We can do something else for that. So you are not doing it the right way? Yeah, you're not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. So we are not going to do it. While the rest of the team is working out, Emily K. Rubo checks in on a border border taxi late. She realizes she has been caught on camera and gets emotional. Please, no, don't stay. Emily, a mother of one, has struggled with weight issues since she was young. She decides to take out her frustrations on a punching bag. Yeah. Ideally. After an intensive workout, everybody. And strings on top of the bench. It is time for the team to stretch a little bit. Monica Auma, who could not balance on one leg before joining Ultimate Challenge, is doing it with ease now. First thing I could not even lift my leg to hold it back, but for once today I was able to lift it up while stretching. Upright. Joining Team Ibra is Anne Googie, 
a former newscaster with the Kenya Television Network. That's KTN. And joins Team Ibra as a guest trainee. The team captain for Team Ibra, Anna Ching, tells us about her experience in today's workout and a little bit of how she got herself here. I ended up uh, adding this weight because uh, I wasn't here and I came back and I felt uh, I came back uh, to the country and I felt depressed so much and uh, I ended up only just eating chips and a little of soda every day from morning lunch supper and uh, I added a lot of it because I wasn't going out. I stayed home for six months without going outside and just eating the wrong food. Wow! Ahu! 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 Miles away at the AIM Global Gym in Embakasi, Eric Opembe is living up to his reputation as the torturer. After last week's loss to Team Imu, the torturer has realized that the title of the ultimate challenge winner is up for grabs. Also up for grabs are the bragging rights for the team that will produce the victor. Losing weight does not come easy. Here at the AIM Global Gym, Team Torturer has been training every day. They do not call him the torturer for no reason. At the gym, he means serious business. The contestants are pushed to the limit, even if they seem to be given up. The session starts off at this ramp. The torturer then takes them up and down the ramp while carrying light weights. This is cardio exercise that helps with the heart as well as the lungs and the body. Climbing up the ramp, uh, that one it's a, a cardio machine. It's a cardio exercises that makes the heart uh, pump the blood properly and also it burns the cholesterol around the heart. At the same time, it strengthens up the muscles and of course burns out the parts that you don't need, the excess fat in the body. One, one, two. The contestants then move to the gym and are taken through many panel beating. This exercise helps with toning the body. It also burns out body fat and prevents the skin from sagging after body fat is shed. One, yes, two. Exercising is clearly not as easy as it sounds. The contestants seem to be suffering. Six, five, six. But giving up is definitely not in their vocabulary or that of the torturer. Instead, they push on. You must raise this answer to a little to not push up spirit too. It's really hard, but yeah, he keeps on telling us it will get easy, it will get easy. You just have to push yourself. After two hours of working out, the session is finally over. The contestants are tired and worn out, but they seem to find it all worth it. Over at the Nairobi Arboretum, last week's winning team is being taken through their paces by trainer Imu. Famed for its fresh air and pristine surroundings, Team Imu has found the Nairobi Arboretum the ideal location for their training. You're surrounded by mostly clean stuff, especially in Arboretum or Karura. All these outdoor places to me gives that more motivation and more energy to somebody compared to indoors because indoors there's so many people and sometimes you don't get a chance to do this, you don't get a, everything is just artificially inside, you know. 
a gym environment will offer you equipment, a gym environment will offer you, you know, space and time to do it, but it won't uh, push you to the tipping edge. And you know, results are, uh, you know, manifest after you go beyond that tipping edge. They are training hard so as to maintain their winning streak. The team first embarks on a 25-minute run along a 250-meter course. During the intensive workout, some of Emu's protégés opt to walk rather than run. For lawyer Roda Ariga, Team Emu is the best place for her to shed weight. Training with Team Emu is interesting. The fact that like we have to get here at 6.30, sometimes train on the rain, and it's very high intensity. In Team Emu, the mentality we have is high intensity. Each other will tell you high intensity. That's our motto, that's our core, high intensity. Do it fast, do it hard. After the 25 minute run, it is time for Team Emu to stretch. Three. Uh, Emu is also implementing a training method referred to as calisthenics. Calisthenics is, uh, is, is a full body workout. It's, it goes in rhythmically, like you just work out your whole body. You go up and down, you do some push-ups, you pull up, you pull ups. You just play around with your body. You don't need weights, you don't even need equipment for it. So it's the whole idea, it, I think it originated in a prison somewhere. And this training regime is clearly resonating well with most of the contestants on Team Emu. These contestants have to be pushed hard, especially with the difficult upcoming challenges. Last week on the Ultimate Trivia, we asked you, what plant-based sources of protein do you know? The correct answers are lentils and beans. Our winner for last week is Verity Wanja from Nairobi, who walked away with a gift hamper from Healthy Youth and KTN. This week on The Ultimate Trivia, we ask, which foods are the most common sources of vitamin C? SMS your answer to 22840, starting with the word ultimate. Remember to include your name and location. Don't go away. Ultimate Challenge will be right back.